Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back with a an update. I'm trying an, uh, an experiment here, and uh, what I did was I uh, connected my uh, hot water heater element, my lower element, up to a, just a general, uh, just a basic plug, and I plugged into a wall outlet, and I turned the hot water heater element on, you know, the temperature uh, thermostat up to the highest it would go for the lower element, and this is a 3,500 watt heating element as you can see right there and I just simply uh, hooked it up to take uh, essentially 120 volts okay some people will say well gee that's crazy and so forth but I've doing some been doing some research and essentially yeah you can do this but anyway this is you know my kilowatt meter here and you can see that it's pulling about 1100 over just over 1100 watts because it's, it's heating up that tank and you can look at my TED unit and you can see from my TED unit that it's my solar panel. It's a cloudy, it's a cloudy day, so that's why I'm not really pulling a lot of power. But you know, my solar panels are bringing in about the 1.2 kilowatts, basically 1,222 watts. And uh, you can see the utility is negative uh, 156, meaning I'm actually using that. I'm buying that back from the utility. So. You know, for the most part, uh, right now, uh, I am heating my water heater with solar. So what this means is like that one, that negative 158, well, you know, my refrigerator and my freezer are still plugged in. Uh, so that's, you know, generally where that's, that's coming from in addition to the 12, 1.2 kilowatts. So looking at that right there, I peaked out today at 2.6 kilowatts, but again, it's, it's pretty cloudy out. Now, again, my hot water heater is actively being heated right now with solar. Now, you can look here at my real-time display, and you can see that, you know, it's just just uh, just around 1.2 kilowatts. And this unit here, you know, again, this is not real-time, but you can kind of see where I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in the neighborhood. So, right now, my heating element in my hot water heater is 1100. Oh, 1,112 watts. That's it's heating now, and and you know as you can see here, my solar is heating that hot water heater. That hot water heater. Um, you know I've got to give credit where credit is due. I mean I got I was inspired uh, with the idea to do more research from Enraj, and he's got the device that uh, and you should check out his channel uh, or his website Enraj on uh, on YouTube and his uh, website, techluck.com. Uh, um, I'm sure he's got links on his YouTube channel for you. And essentially, he, you know, he has a device that will allow you to tie in directly to your panels. And, uh, you know, so, but my panels are connected to a microinverter, so I, I don't really have that, that luxury to do that. But I just said, uh, you know, I decided to get, get an old power cord that I wasn't using anymore. And I just simply connected it to the water heater. Um, I went on I went online and I did some research and I saw the wiring for it and uh, and they also say that you know yeah this it can be done without harming the thing so essentially this is that's a 3500 watt element and I just simply chose to not put 3500 watts to it but just as you can see just 1100 watts and you know think of it this way what would happen if I just, you know, for six or seven hours a day, my solar panels on a cloudy day can produce 1.2 kilowatts? Imagine what they'll produce on a good day. So, and this is a way, you know, I can actually, uh, you know, put my excess power into my hot water heater. And uh, so, yeah, it works great. You know, I'm gonna go and I'll clean all of this up, and uh, you know, I'll go to Home Depot, get maybe get a longer wire or something like that and uh, you know make it look a little neater but anyway I think this is absolutely awesome and as you can see uh, 1.23 uh, 1230 watts so 1 1.2 kilowatts and I'm only buying uh, 136 watts from the utility and so if if I had a really really bright sunny day I wouldn't be buying anything from the utility <laughs> so even to hot water you know to handle this beast. So uh, what does that mean? In an AC coupled, uh, you know, setup like I have, if there was no power whatsoever, it would not affect me. Um, if on a bright day, I can actually heat up water without worrying about it. Um, so, 
and this thing is heating up water right now and uh, this is absolutely awesome I mean the things you can do with solar power and a few extra panels on your roof so um, essentially when when this when that thermostat reaches the highest setting I mean as far as from a temperature standpoint it'll turn off and it'll turn off the heating element and guess what I will have hot water so what does that mean um, this one the upper element is still tied into you know here as you can see right now I've actually got this thing turned off not only at the uh, electric timer here but also at the double pole breaker and it is, it is my hot water tank is being heated up so when the thing I'm going to turn that back on and when it comes on this upper element is not going to have to work as hard because you know the cold as Enrods points out in his on his website in his video the cold water actually comes down to the bottom of the tank and then you know the, the heat rises to the top of the tank and so guess what happens if you heat the bottom of the tank and as the hot water rises up you know hey guess what you're gonna have more hot water in your tank so um, this is absolutely awesome but uh, I'll keep you informed um, I simply wire nutted off the old ones you know for safety sake as you can see and if you look right here I got my the element on the hottest setting so that you know hey <laughs> um, you know yeah it's gonna be hot the water is going to be absolutely hot but you know then again I'll I'll just let you know the folks know in, in my home that hey you know you're gonna have to <laughs> uh, you're gonna have hot water so be careful and turn it on you know turn on the cold water as <laughs> you know as judiciously as possible but you know hey we want hot water right so anyway YouTube I'll keep you informed everything is good to go um, again it's says good go 1.2 okay I guess my freezer kicked in so I'm buying 300 watts uh, from the utility which is fine that's 300 watts but again I'm utilizing over 1100 for my solar so if you look right there 1.2 versus 1.1 so guess what that hot water tank is being heated with solar. All right, take care, you too.